Welcome to a new week of The Rundown. On this episode, EAOS extensions for first-term sailors, CNO's new reading program, civilians from CMP meet the fleet, and we celebrate Women's History Month. First-term sailors now have more time to request an extension of their EAOS so that they can complete their sea duty assignments. The deadline to extend has been moved to December 31st. The initiative allows first-term sailors to match their PRD with their EAOS to help prevent unnecessary gaps at sea. Sailors who choose to extend will benefit from additional opportunities for advancement and re-enlistment quotas. To view eligibility requirements, read NAVADMIN 004-17. The CNO's professional reading program is now available online. The program consists of over 140 books and some movies to help Navy leaders understand the fundamentals of strategy, broaden their historical perspective, and expand thinking. The books are aligned with the lines of effort in a design for maintaining maritime superiority. Many titles are available for free as ebooks through MWR Overdrive. You can check out the titles by visiting the website below. Last week, CMP civilian workforce members were able to visit Norfolk for a Meet the Fleet visit. On the trip, the group was able to speak with sailors at various commands to get a feel for how the initiatives they help create are affecting the fleet. The group first toured U.S. Fleet Forces Command, embarked the USS Kearsarge and the USS Forrest Sherman, and then ended the day with a tour of Helicopter Sea Combat Squadron 2. You can read about their experiences in the story on Navy.mil. Finally, the Navy is joining the nation in celebrating Women's History Month. Sailors are encouraged to participate in celebrations and observances that reflect on the advances and duties women have achieved in our Navy. This month's theme is honoring trailblazing women in labor and business. This month also marks 100 years since the Navy made its first female chief, YNC Loretta Perfectus Walsh. Today, female sailors serve in every rank from seaman to admiral. To read more on Women's History Month, check out our story on Navy.mil. Well, that's all for this week. For any questions, send us a message at usnpeople.fct at Navy.mil. For the Chief Naval Personnel, I'm MC2 LJ Burleson. Thanks for watching.